Hello, welcome back to one of the last uh, few episodes in Sherlock Holmes Chapter 1, here with my sibling, Moths. Hello! Uh, we are deep in the thicket of this investigation, having been arrested. Uh, I actually wanted to stop and distinctly show you these two drinking, because there is a magic trick. You got them? Yeah, two, two, two... What magic trick? Hang on. There. Ah! <laughs> what the fuck? Where did the other guy go? <laughs> I, I, I had noticed it. Uh, I didn't make much of a comment on it when I first noticed it in game, but uh, John just straight up replaces an entire man. And like, he, I, like you, you could walk out and walk back, he'll still be there. What the fuck? I know, it's, it's very um, concerning. Well, okay. Got all that checked off. Uh, we have to discern. Did you hear Basilio Coppola? Why you like this game? <laughs> Right, we have to discern um, who is the responsible for murdering Fabio and prove that it wasn't vocal. Yeah. But to do that, we will need to find out why uh, Fabio sent vocal a very uh, upsetting letter. Nasty letter. Sense in that uh, press, yeah. the press thing, yeah. Did you hear Basilio? Okay. Not my fit. What? No, it was a press scandal. Oh, right, it was that one. No. No. Plans yes. of Yes. Getting safe. Oh, boy. <laughs> okay. Ah, Sherlock, shut up! We're trying! Okay. Dead in the safe. Claims innocence. No. Yes. My curiosity has been piqued by talk that Basilio Capello, the owner of the famous Armour Capello Home Security Company, has been arrested. His situation is quite peculiar. A man named Niccolo Detti was found dead inside the safe in Stella's store. Okay. Stilio claims innocence, but the evidence is against him. He is being held in the holding cells at the police station. In the police. Let's pretend to be cops, eh? We can just stand around and look confused. Well, that's a side mission. Yeah. Something for later, we have to prove Vogel's innocence. Vogel's innocence, very important. Hello, I am a consulting detective, as you can tell. From my wardrobe, and how wonderful and gothic it is. Good night, your ticket please, if you want me to help you. Just taking you like a normal customer. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely nothing weird about this. Absolutely nothing. Evidence ticket. I'd like to check the evidence from this... And who are you? Oswald sent me. I'm a consulting detective. His partner, then? <laughs> Let me see. Ah, oh, a ritual murder. What a bunch of degenerates. Wait a second, I'll bring it to the table. I'm sorry, I just really like the idea that like a cult sacrifices a man on an altar and like the police are like, a bunch of degenerates. <laughs> the, the police are just like, oh, okay. <laughs> I just, could you imagine playing a game of Call of Cthulhu, which is a tabletop game, by the way, those who don't play it, uh, and, you know, you go to the police and they're just like, what's a bunch of degenerates? <laughs> I'd lose my mind. <laughs> We've got three very interesting boxes here. Do they have listed where they're coming from? Like, uh, whose yes. boxes? This is Vogel, this is Kurt Mancios, and this is Matista. 
Who well, do clearly, you want to start with? Clearly we should spy on Vogel, our dearest friend. Yes, uh, Vogel, <laughs> what is, is this? An emergency kit for boredom. You know, oh, it, oh. Levitt's in a velvet case. He's got his drugs in a velvet case. <laughs> yes. It is very vocal, though. It is very vocal. The letter that was found in Vogel's evidence box. Is your mind unsound? You can't control your bitterness, not around me anyway. For me, it's too great a risk to ignore that kind of behavior. I can be, speak, and play with anyone I choose. I'm not another Matista. You pay me, but you haven't bought me. Of course, I'll keep all your generous <coughs> donations, even though they hardly compensate for your last terrible outburst. <laughs> I'm leaving you, although Matista will still be around. Fabio. Bit of a bad breakup? <laughs> uh, hey. Maybe. Uh. Like. It's either that or Fabio was hired by Vogel, but Fabio and Vogel had a bit of an out, you know, falling out. Um, or it's yeah. a bit of both where, like, we're talking about, like, a hired situation because, like, you know, Fabio and Matista are in, like, our sex workers, essentially. At the same time, maybe, like, those two were very getting very close to each other and stuff like that. Um, yeah. I don't know. Not uh, the time sounds for like. <laughs> So, sounds like a, 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 a bad falling out between the two of them. Oh, we're not going to read Vogel's diary. Come oh, no, on. we're reading Vogel's diary. Then his I... personal sketchbook. Oh, no, it's a sketchbook. Oh, it's a sketchbook. <laughs> you know what? Sherlock has kinder things than other people. I would not touch another person's sketchbook because that is very personal. Um, I, I, unless, like, imagine... shown or particularly, you know, allowed. I imagine Sherlock's also just, like... What, am I going to find the crime scene in here? You or never know. <laughs> no, just kidding. You probably... <laughs> it wouldn't be uh, intelligible, I'm sure. <laughs> All the keys of the mansion on one golden ring. That must be Santos, right? Yeah. Or uh, is... no, no, this is Kurt Manchios. Oh, it's Manchios. Okay. It's a miracle this ruby hasn't tempted anyone. <laughs> what do we got here? A heavily perfumed handkerchief with the initials... K M in the corner. Okay. Kurt Manchios, yeah, makes sense. Yeah. Her key to the altar room. So that's Matista, right? Yes, is Matista. So that's her key, though. So her key. A handcrafted charm that contains hair and nail clippings. Yeah. Oh no, I guess her key could have been used because she had it. Yeah. We we know that uh, Fabio's key wasn't used because it was left in the room. Right. And what was that? Uh, this was, uh... A handcrafted charm that contains hair and nail clippings. Oh, okay. I get you. The power of love, blood, and mandrake. I see. That's not for bedtime reading. <laughs> <laughs> this ex libris belongs to Mancio's library. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> that is interesting. The police found this occult book in Matista's bag during the arrest. According to the Ex Libris, the tome was taken from Mr. Mancio's collection. It contains illustrations and descriptions for rituals similar to the crime scene. Prepare the naked body of a recently deceased object of interest. Draw symbols of Mars and Venus to enhance the power you possess. And use the force of male and female nature. Or to use the force of male and female nature. Pierce his heart with a golden dagger to be rid of the blood that does not love you. Draw a symbol representing your love. While waiting for the resurrection, recite the charm. Ha. Huh. Interesting. The book How describes a ritual similar to the one performed in the altar room. Thank you, officer. That definitely puts a, a larger... Uh, that definitely puts a larger crowd of thought. Uh, what's like the word? Well, shroud of mystery, Shra suspicion. 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 It's definitely a larger shroud of suspicion on Matisse. Um, the power of love. The power of love. <laughs> no. Okay. Whatever you say, game. Um. I don't think any of these fit together. The oh wait, no. The letter may have been for Mancius. Oh. Oh. 
It wasn't actually addressed to You're anyone. You're right! And it would make more sense for it to be Kurt, wouldn't it? Yes. No. 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 Those aren't those together. So none of these connect them. We still have more information we have to learn. More. Well, luckily, we can ask Mat Matista about, like, the book, and we can ask Vogel about the letter. And Kurt. And Kurt, you're right. Oh, John, you've uh, returned that man to the realm of the living. <laughs> I like the idea that John just kidnaps people. I, he, he apparently steals bad photos, so... He just eats them. Oh, hey, there's Matista! But he said, I have a very awkward question for you. It's about a very weird book. It was just half-heartedly shoved into your purse. <laughs> this book, The Power of Love, Blood, and Mandrake, what do you hope to achieve? To learn more about the invisible strengths that govern us. Occultism is real. The master who fell that night when Fabio and I escaped, I made him fall. I cast a spell on him and it worked. Or was it a coincidence? The universe is really so lazy. If you say so. <laughs> okay. And Batista believes in occultism. Yeah. Oh. Could Fabio have written this letter to Kurt Manchos? Oh. That could be. I never thought Mr. Manchos could make Fabio that angry, though. What do you mean? Well, Fabio wanted to disassociate from Mr. Manchos. Clients who are in love are both a blessing and a curse. Hmm. But yeah, Fabio sense. was here tonight. Money. In our line of work, we can't afford to turn down clients who pay as well as Kurt Manchios. Was Fabio afraid of Mr. Manchios? Not at all. The old toad wouldn't dare to do more than sweet talk and touching. Talk can be forgotten, and touching washed away. Interesting, though. That's interesting, yeah. Do you practice occult rituals? For protection? For a fortune? To wash away the ugliness of the world? Sometimes to survive. I have the gift, and I'm learning to use it better. Did you use your gift on Fabio? I only used white magic. Love charms lately. Fabio became so distant. I just wanted him to be with me, but I suppose I'm not as skilled as I thought. Okay, so she did have romantic feelings for Fabio. Yes. Should I talk to Manchus or Vogel first? I kind Let's of want... have Vogel first. Yeah. Because Vogel, again, isn't actually involved. And we need to know why he had that letter. Yes. Because, I mean, if he picked it up from, yeah. you know, someone. Yeah. I have reason to believe that the intended recipient of the incriminating letter may have been Kurt Manchios. Well, that makes sense. Too bad I can't remember how I came to possess it. <laughs> Damn Though it! I did spend quite some time with Mr. Manchios during the party. Mm. Unfortunately, mm. even with an answer, that may still not be enough to clear you with the police. But fear not, I will persevere. I hope your attempt to put things straight will make up for you being on a bender. Touche. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, so it's possible then that Manchios uh, slipped the letter uh, into Vogel's possession. I mean, Vogel was wasted. <laughs> Absolutely wasted. Let's go talk to the homophobe. Hi! No. 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 He said You'll no. You'll remain in there until I uh, can clear you as a suspect. Mm. And then John can let you out. Do you recognize this book? <laughs> Could Matista have borrowed it from your library? She didn't ask me. How ungrateful. The things described in the book were inspiration for the rituals you performed? Do you really believe that blood, symbols, and incantations can resurrect the dead? They are just eerie tales with a mix of occultism and voodoo. My rituals are a stage to show some of the forbidden pleasures. He's just like, aesthetic. <laughs> yes. It's very real for Matista, and unless, unless Manchios is lying, he seems not to believe um, 
these sort of things. Yes. Or it's just a tool for him, essentially. It could also be interpreted, again, as uh, a way of him uh, shifting blame on someone else. <laughs> that I would completely believe. Because if you look like you're disinterested, then, you know. Yeah. There is undeniable evidence that you were the original recipient of this. What are you talking about? Is it addressed to me? Your protege wanted a fresh start, it seems. This is sufficient to charge you. Me? Hurt my star? Are you insane that you would accuse me of such a thing? He did not consider himself as yours. Since you deny everything, let's move on. Do you have any idea as to how the letter could have ended up in Mr. Vogel's pocket? You were the detective. Perhaps he took it from Fabio. Werner was a little high. And it's also possible uh, that uh, Fabio gave the letter to Vogel and said, give this to Mancios. That's also possible. And Vogel probably forgot <laughs> because he was a little high. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, either Vogel or Mancios is lying. Yeah. That is correct. Oh. Um, Fabio broke Kurt Mancius' heart. Tista may have used a ritual on Fabio. Bring his love back. So, Vogel took the letter under influence. Uh, took the letter whilst himself under the effect of various substances. Or Mencius planted the letter, uh, slipped the letter into Ver or Vogel's pocket to make him look like a suspect. As it has conflict here, then. Mm -hmm. But uh, here, Mencius planted the letter, rituals cover, washed himself. All comes to Mencius as the murderer. Mm. For years, Fabio played with Kurt Mancius' heart and abused his interest in the young performer. When Mancius received yet another rejection, he murdered Fabio and staged a love ritual to avoid suspicion. High likelihood. Yes. Uh, crime of passion. His heart broken and panicked and did not mean to kill Fabio. The improvised ritual was a desperate attempt to cover up the crime. A prison sentence should be enough for his harsher punishment is the death of his love. Uh, or sexual predator killed Fabio in cold blood. He staged the crime as a ritual to blame Matista, planted the letter in Vogel's pocket to avoid suspicion. Mancius has no consideration for the life of others and deserves to be hanged. Hmm. 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 We also have... One for, ah, uh, Matista here. <laughs> Matista was afraid of Fabio's growing popularity and ambitions. She wanted to keep him with her for as long as possible. In a last ditch effort, Matista conducted a love ritual during which she killed Fabio. Ah, uh, crushed soul. Matista is a product of a tormented life. She knows no difference between good and evil. She wanted her love, Fabio, to stay with her always. Matista deserves help. She needs to be treated and have a chance to get over her past in an asylum. Or an occult murderer. Himatsu Rida. Oh, sure, yeah. <laughs> Matista uses occultism as a way to avenge her miserable life. She stabbed Fabio to keep him close to her. She should be held accountable for her deeds. Any judge would give her a death sentence without hesitation. Now, I don't think that it would be Matista. I don't think so. If it's between the two, it's Matista. M Machios. Um, especially because the uh, ritual, um, like, uh... oh, third one. Yeah. I was gonna say because the the ritual that was uh, given was, uh, or like the the painting of the Mars and Venus signs, they were rushed. Yes. If it was meant to be like a whole thing, she seems very dedicated to like the occult. I yes. don't think she'd rush it. Yeah, no, no. Uh, of course, if we 
think that Santos missed the blood spatter, mm -mm. then we could pin him as the murderer. Mm -mm. Uh, Pinchetti has worked for his uncle for years in the deep hope of obtaining his heritage. Mencius' hostility and humiliations pushed Pinchetti to kill Fabio and frame his uncle. Mencius' imprisonment would make Pinchetti the only lawful heir. Correct the injustice. The only way for Santos to right his wrongs is to be rid of his monstrous uncle. Pinchetti should be punished for the crime of murder, but he has suffered enough and deserves a fresh start after a prison sentence. It was called revenge. Santos snapped after years of disrespect. Pinchetti devised a plan to be rid of his uncle. However, misery and despair cannot justify murder. Uh, Pinchetti is dangerous, and a noose around his neck is all he deserves. Hmm. So we're left with uh, three possible conclusions here. Three pretty good options. Uh, well, so, okay, two pretty good options. Yeah. I'm like, again, the the thing is it, like, it it's, wasn't Matista. I'm ninety percent sure it wasn't Matista. Yeah. Again, just mostly due to how kind of on the fly and by the seat of one's pants, like the the ritual stuff was set up. She seems way too dedicated for yeah. it to be fucked like also, that. Also, she specifically says she practices white magic. That is true. And Unless she's you're, lying, but she, I don't know yeah, If you're a lying. practitioner of white magic, you don't F with darker magic. Nope. Not at all. Nope. Uh, Stabbing someone? Definitely darker yeah, magic. Murdering someone to, to uh, like, revive them as, like, a prisoner of love? Yeah, definitely not. That, that, that's very much... Harming anyone is considered dark magic. Yes. Now, the thing is, I'm... I, I had, like, looked through, um... Uh, Santos is known to be able to move about basically invisibly. Yeah. So, you could easily say that he could slip the uh, letter to people. He could slip the book in uh, Matista's bag. This is true. Uh, when, I, when I was editing the last uh, video, I particularly noticed that in the witness deposition for Santos, he specifically says that it was during preparations for the party. He heard loud noises from the closed altar room, and he thought of the sacrifice of a living being overviewed by none other than Kurt Mancius. He literally just singles out his uncle, yeah. despite not seeing anything. Yeah. Uh, uh, and then goes in to say that there was blood on the wall, a strange civil set deck. Remember, the door is locked. <laughs> he would have had to open it. Yeah. To see that. Yeah. And then had to have gotten... Uh, far enough in to get blood on his shoe. Mm -mm 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 -mm. That's a good point. Which, like, I'm like, that, like, clearly he openly lied to the police there. <laughs> or yeah. Frogware somehow uh, forgot to put blood leading to the door. <laughs> I mean, also possible, um, but, like, the only reason I could think this is if, like, they're, he's missing the part where he's mentioning going in the room. But he literally says it was none other than Kurt Manchios, which yeah. means like either he's he's saying that he saw him and you know didn't enter the room, or that's like oh it well obviously yeah 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 that that's that's yeah he, he's clearly intending to put Manchios under the bus yeah here. he's throwing Manchios under the bus like oh well bye bye uncle yeah. And, like, I mean, it's possible that, like, Manchus just didn't see him. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, but, again, like, then you can't really explain the blood, because you'd have to get really close to get the blood on your shoe. That's true. That's true. Right, we need to talk to someone about this letter, though. I try. Nope. <laughs> Thank okay. you for your cooperation, Mr. Pinchetti. Uh, we'll continue later. Maybe the, the letter is, uh, I use as part of the accusation. Oh, that's possible. Hmm. That would be an accusation, too. Yeah. Because, like, um, that could be it. I don't know, though. <laughs> I think it 
it's it's between Santos and Manchios. And definitely, I think, definitely. I think the thing you said with Santos is pretty damning. Um, I'm, I'm trying to think if there's any clues that get left unanswered that could then throw a wrench in it, you know? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Like, the last thing you want to do is punish someone that has already suffered a lot. Yeah. At the same time, I'm also like, Santos kind of sits off with me. Yeah. Uh, certainly because he is openly homophobic about his uh, uh, uncle. That's fair. Uh, but also because, I mean, he like ran to uh, uh, like the police and then gave a deposition that omitted key details. <laughs> Omitted key details, pointed fingers, is questionable, and then he left. Yeah. It does present, like, the the question of the letter, though. Yeah. Like, is the letter even real? You don't think it is? Well, I mean, did we ever... uh, Cherry never specifically asked, is this Fabio's handwriting? That's true. Oh. Although, it's not like Matista said, Oh, that's weird. That doesn't look like Fabio's handwriting. Yeah. Matista and Mancius never said that it doesn't look like his handwriting. Yeah. But, like, like my, my, my kind of thought is, like, if it wasn't Fabio's handwriting, it could have been faked. <laughs> yes. To, like, put strain on their uh, relationship. Like, at the same time, however, it, how would that really fit in? It, it doesn't really fit in uh, there. And, like, Batista kind of uh, brings up the fact that uh, love between, like, a client and performer is not exactly great for business. No. No, no. And that is completely fair. Yeah. It, like, like she said, it's a blessing and a curse. Like, you know... Uh, sure, you get a lot of attention from, and then therefore money from that person, but also you're doing a job and they're thinking that their feelings are real. Yeah. You know. What do you want to do? Hmm? You reaccuse Santos? Personally, I lean on Santos. Um, it's like, it's one of the boys. It's Santos or Richie. Yeah. But the, the, the Kurt. <laughs> I would go with correct the injustice. Oh. Yeah, I do feel that. Like I, I, I do feel that he did specifically plan to do this. Yeah. Like, like he he clearly set up like the the whole fake uh, ritual. Yeah, and, which yeah. is also another reason it could be like very like you know, puts very splotch together. He could easily have picked up, like, that book, read it, you know, and, uh, uh, whatnot, and just, like, okay, well, it's gotta look right, because it's yeah. gotta, it's gotta be perfect and stuff, but, like, he's not really caring, because the police aren't gonna care. Yeah, yeah. It's the occult shit. It's gonna be uh, perfect. But, like, I, I, I do feel that... The motivation? Yeah, I, I do feel the motivation does kind of lend closer to a like he he deserves to go to jail but like he doesn't deserve to die <laughs> i'd agree with that okay that's what we're going with <laughs> yeah and you saved so you know. yeah it really goes horribly wrong i suppose we could just <laughs> be like okay well i don't think it was him <laughs> Oh, Santos. John, I, I just want you to know, mm-hmm. I hope that we, uh, we, we, we're, we've got the right guy here. What a bunch of losers. That's <laughs> very rude to say, John. <laughs> it's not wrong. Jacques. I know who killed Fabio. So I'm free to go, sir. Quite the opposite. I think it was you, Mr. Pinchetti. That is not possible. Allow me to explain. Uh... You staged the ritual? Yeah. You staged this decadent ritual so you would not be suspected. After a short fight, you knocked Fabio unconscious. You locked the door and dragged the body to the altar. You wanted to set up someone acquainted with this masquerade. I don't have the nerve to kill or stage a murder. I can't even leave my uncle's house. 
You wanted to be rid of your dear uncle. I myself barely know him and already find him intolerable. <laughs> You've worked for him for years. Santos, do this. Santos, do that. He doesn't pay you. He doesn't recognize your work. He doesn't see you as family. But you thought that heritage might be yours. Instead, all you'll ever receive is mustache wax. It is painful to witness such a situation. I cannot imagine how it must be for you. So you decided to frame your uncle. Put the blame for Fabio's murder on him. That way, the heritage is yours, and you are free of him. Half of what you say is true. I'm in pain. I have had a hard time with my uncle, but I'm not a murderer. I can't even stand up to my uncle. How could I have killed Fabio? He did nothing to me. He was a source of your troubles too, though. Especially since Mr. Manchios treated him like a king. The blood on your shoe tells me that you were with Fabio. You stabbed him with the dagger while he was still alive. You drew a sigil on him. There was a great deal of blood. You needed to remove it. Blood is almost like glue. It sticks to everything, dries quickly, and is quite visible. But you know how to handle stains. You are Kurt Manchios's major domo. However, despite your best efforts, you missed a spot. It doesn't make sense, sir. I was never there. I am convinced there's a reasonable explanation. Try to help you? Mm. Yeah. Your uncle is a cruel man. He used everyone around him to his advantage. I don't believe he even truly loved Fabio. You knew very little love, support, or care from him. You lost your mind, Santos. And innocent people were hurt. I can't allow you to go free, but I can try to help you. I can provide my findings to the police. Decadence and perversity might poison anyone around them. I... I don't know what to say. I can't breathe. I need to go outside. Unfortunately, you can't. Do you think it would spill him? I don't know. Oh, this is so tough. I don't know if like they they have a um, killer have like a, a breakdown reveal themselves, because they they didn't do that with uh, Gilded Cage. Yeah, they didn't do it with most of the other ones. Yeah. Uh, only like the first one that they have like the killer confess like oh, or at least what we assume. Yeah. Because we could have gotten shit wrong. <laughs> <laughs> But, um, this one's the most, like, I think I've been like, I don't know. Okay, out of stupid curiosity, can you then accuse Machios? This is so dumb. I don't... I don't think we can, but, uh... I wish everything were different. Never mind. Yeah. Uh, shall we continue with this? Yeah. Or? We've made our decision, right? Yes. Even if it's the wrong decision, we still made a decision. If we ever wanted to, we could go back and replay this part. Yeah. And accuse Machios. Or you guys at home could go play the game and uh, uh, choose a different person who you think uh, uh, murdered Fabio. Yes. Constable. Santos Pinchetti killed Fabio. The evidence is clear. Is that so? Huh. A man like him has actually grown a pair. <laughs> he intended to set up his uncle for the inheritance. The old man had humiliated him for years in every possible way. Oh, what a bunch of degenerates. Well, as for Mr. Pinchetti, the evidence tells us that he was wronged and pushed to commit a crime to be rid of his uncle. I suggest that you help in easing his sentence. That's a sad story, all right. But at least it's good enough for my promotion. <laughs> for my part, not everything was in place. Perhaps some documents were transferred somewhere else, but I couldn't find a trace of them. Then I remembered the discarded document drawers where we put the lost papers or the badly labelled ones, including the crime scene report of Violet Holmes's case. Everything I've found is on the desk here. Take it. Your persistence has saved me. Yeah, well, we had a deal after all. <laughs> Your friend is free, then. You can leave. Good luck, Constable. Mm. Uh, 
got uh, uh, 40 for that one, which does uh, make me wonder that we might have gone the wrong man. Ah, how much is it usually? I think it's 80 if you get uh, the uh, thing entirely correct. Oh, I think we got the wrong man then. <laughs> Let me take a, a moment. Take a little look see. Okay, I've done a little uh, review of uh, other people talking about the outcome, and we definitely were wrong. Ah, nothing wrong with that. We fucked up. Yes. Here, here, here's probably the single biggest smoking gun uh, that I can actually say we completely missed. What's that? The thing that was the bloody clothes that we found yeah. was for uh, one of the robes. Yeah, you're right. It's one of the robes. Somebody had to put on a robe to go kill Fabio. Oh, that's true. Neither Matista nor Santos wear the robes. Ah, uh, well, mm, that's a good point. That's a, So it was Machi, Ma, it was Kurt? It was Kurt. Knew it was one of the boys. Should have went with Matista. Oh, well. Uh, not Matista, but Antista, the other M. Kurt, I can't Manchios. say. I can't say Manchios for some reason. I mean, I, I would be, be willing to stop the episode here and... Uh, you want to replay it, but accuse yeah, me. Uh, like, next time, like, no, bring it up against uh, Manchios. That'd be kind of fun. <laughs> well, uh, in that case, I, I will... Uh, Assuredly agree that we have taken the L here. We did we not. We have taken the L. We, yeah, have, we have not caught the uh, murderer first try, and, and I would definitely say that this is probably why we're not uh, actual detectives because yeah. we uh, probably let some like personal prejudice and ideas like we can't we clung to the... to to uh, to an idea. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, honestly, like, my latching on to the fact that his deposition is full of holes yeah, uh, is actually, uh, like, uh, rethinking about that, not unusual for witnesses. <laughs> That's a good point, Mantis. <laughs> witnesses very often give very poor testimony. <laughs> yeah. So we will have to stop here, and uh, next time... Let's accuse uh, Manchios. Yeah, sounds like fun. So it's this one, the second one. Okay. The one that's labeled for 948. 948, okay. I'll have to individually load. It's all right. Well, we'll get it. And then you guys can then see the uh, Manchios accusation. Yes. See you next time. See ya.